right here at the uh, Njambiko Ikai Memorial Service and we have a daktari Bab Babu Namwamba tutataka tujue ikoaje tumeona ameshughulika alikuja kwa watembelea so we want to hear from him tujue uh, plans ikoaje daktari karibu sana asante yeah, mm -hmm. how are you doing uh, ni kwa salama uh -huh. Mhm. Mm Bibi a little bit of uh, umekuwa kwa Njambi hapa kwa Memorial Service maybe what is going on right now? Uh, we here for uh, the funeral service uh, uh, for the late Njambi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I joined the family, friends, colleagues to pay tribute to this uh, phenomenal girl really who has touched so many lives in her very short life. And uh, you can say she has lived a very full life, short but full. Um, and um, as a creative, she has made such an incredible contribution to the creative industry, to the media industry. And also demonstrated that young people should not be scared or hold back from uh, pursuing their dreams or even um, getting into the space of leadership and so Kenya has lost an incredibly uh, talented uh, strong willed young lady and um, the best way we can honor her the best memory we can have of her is to build the creative industry to support our creatives to support young people um, pursue their dreams including those who want to uh, get into leadership and contribute to making Kenya uh, better for all of us. Yeah. Perhaps are you doing anything <coughs> about the whole endo endometrist, the whole how to make things better? This whole endo phenomenon um, apparently is such a, a monster mm -hmm. because uh, since we lost in Jambi, I've been doing a little bit of um, deeper uh, analysis. And quite a number of young people uh, are suffering from this condition. Um, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call for, for us to know more about it because even public awareness about it is not that much. Uh, we need to know more about it and provide greater support to, to those uh, afflicted by, by it. And I can say that um, in honor of Jambi, in memory of Jambi, uh, we must commit to do more, um, to confront uh, this uh, condition and to support those who, who are afflicted. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, Doctor, you can tell us um, what was your last encounter with Jambi? How was her, how was her condition? And uh, maybe what was your last conversation that you remember with Jambi? Um, unfortunately, I didn't have um, an opportunity to interact with her in her last in her last moments. So the memories I, I have of her is um, a strong-willed girl wanting to be member of parliament for Dagoretti South, going all out, supporting football um, football activities, um, and, and using the platform of music, especially reggae music, to mobilize people and uh, wanting to use the space of creativity to bring positive change. I remember um, her passion to want to make things better, to, to, to change things, and to just want to make it better for everybody. Her belief that injustice to anybody is injustice to everybody, and that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Um, and so I, I have this image of um, uh, a phenomenally uh, uh, gifted girl with incredible strength of character. Uh, that, that is the image I have of her and, and just a good emblem for Kenyan youth. Someone who young people should look up to whether it is in pursuit of your dream. Don't, don't hold back. Look, Njambi has been afflicted by endo since she was 13. So for 25 years 25 of her 38 years she she fought endo but it didn't stop her from going to school it didn't stop her from working it didn't stop her from pursuing her talents in the creative industry uh, so, so that's an incredible lesson no matter the odds jitume 
and uh, and you will succeed. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Ari, maybe the last one. Uh, the creative industry, they are currently mourning because of the death of our fellow creative. So send a message to all the creatives in the country. Um, first is to say Poleni Sana to all our creatives. It is such a big loss. Um, it is not easy to fill the boots of uh, someone like Njambi, but I applaud, I really, really applaud the Kenyan creatives. This is the second occasion I'm witnessing creatives really come together. When you lose one of you, you come together, you rally together, you support each other. That is the spirit, man. That's the spirit, guys. And um, I want to encourage that. Um, and also to tell you as creatives, you are powerful. You occupy a space that can change the society, can change Kenya incredibly. Don't underestimate the power you wield as creatives. You can bring positive change. You can influence Kenya in the right direction. And remember, anything you do as a creative, there are millions, thousands of people watching, children, young people. You are a role model as a creative. And so please deploy that power well in a manner that brings positive impact in society. And as your minister, as a minister for creatives, I want to support you, I want to work with you, I want to be involved in both your successes and your challenges. And soon we are launching this Who's Next uh, program for, for the creatives. It's going to be an incredible program in the space of music, theater, film, uh, fashion, pageantry, the whole works. And um, we will be using this really to take the creative industry in Kenya to the next level. And as I've said here, we will be using this also to honor the memory of Njambi and other young people we have lost who have made incredible contribution to the creative industry in Kenya. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. <laughs> na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Finya saa hii. Sa wewe finya. <laughs>